my own studies in language and human cognition uh, demonstrate to me at least what remarkable creativity ordinary people have. The very fact that people talk to one another is a reflection, and just in the normal way, I don't mean anything particularly fancy, uh, reflects deep-seated features of human creativity, which in fact separate human beings from any other biological system we know. Noam Chomsky, theorist of language and political activist, has had an extraordinary career. I can think of none like it in recent American history, and few anywhere at any time. He has literally transformed the subject of linguistics. At the same time, he's become one of the most consistent critics of power politics in all its protean guises. Scholar and propagandist, his two careers apparently reinforce each other. In 1957, he published his Syntactic Structures, which began what has frequently been called the Chomskyan Revolution in Linguistics. Like a latter-day Copernicus, Chomsky proposed a radically new way of looking at the theory of grammar. Chomsky worked out the formal rules of a universal grammar which generated the specific rules of actual or natural languages. The general approach I'm taking seems to me rather simple-minded. Uh, and unsophisticated, but nevertheless correct. Uh, <laughs> Later he came to argue that such systems are innate features of human beings. They belong to the characteristics of the species and have been, in effect, programmed into the genetic equipment of the mind like the machine language in a computer. Uh, one needn't be interested in this question, of course. I am interested in it. And the interesting question from this point of view would be, what is the nature of the initial state? That is, what is human nature in this respect? That, in turn, explains the... Astonishing... Let me try the Latin next to him. Facility. 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 That, in turn, explains the astonishing facility that children have in learning the rules of natural language, no matter how complicated, incredibly quickly, from what are imperfect and often degenerate samples. Complain. Complicated. Complicated. It's a complicated word. You know what complicated means? It means it's complicated. If, in fact, our minds were a blank slate and experience wrote on them, we would be very impoverished creatures indeed. So the obvious hypothesis is that our language is the result of the unfolding of a genetically determined program. Well, plainly, there are different languages. In fact, the apparent variation of languages is quite superficial. It's certain, as, as, as certain as anything else, is that humans are not genetically programmed to learn one or another language. So you bring up a Japanese baby in Boston, it'll speak Boston English. And you bring up my child in Japan, it'll speak Japanese. Uh, and that means that the base, that from that, it fo from, from that it simply follows by logic that the basic structure of the languages must be essentially the same. Our task as uh, scientists is to try to determine exactly what those fundamental principles are that cause the knowledge of language to unfold in the manner in which it does under particular circumstances. And incidentally, I think there is no doubt the same must be true of other aspects of human intelligence and... Uh, uh, systems of understanding and interpretation and uh, moral and aesthetic judgment and so on.